Uh, this is the package for uh, the MMI upgrade to have a uh, Apple CarPlay and Android audio. Arrived. That's the latest version um, of uh, Apple CarPlay for the Audi MMI from uh, the company is called Sinairu. Something like that. We have a manual. Uh, it has uh, pictures. Actually, it looks very nice. Well, uh, this is the unit, standard thing. Let's hope it works uh, well once we install it. We have a Velcro pad, I guess that's to install it below the MMI so it doesn't move left and right. Uh, people included the uh, well, actually, I purchased those. Uh, the, installation kits we have antenna microphone antenna microphone the harness that's all the cables that we need these are very important tools we're going to be using to unlock the mmi and uh, take it out and the two video cables this is all and again we're installing it on audi uh, b 8.5 which is the facelift after the 2013, this one is 2015. So let's get in, let's get it on. And the MMI system is 3G plus. Okay, so the first thing is to protect all this area uh, from scratching. Cover everything. What we need to do is put this one here. And this one here. Now pull, see it clicks, then you pull it out, like this. Now below we have one cable, okay. It's good to take a picture of every cable, so we don't forget where it is. See this one has these uh, push pins, once you push it, it comes out. So the thing is, actually we don't have to take a picture of those because uh, they're color coded so this one is again you see you can you push it okay i see where the uh, people position the the unit it's it's down there it's right here i'm gonna take a cloth and uh, clean it up So taking out the unit uh, is probably the best thing to do in this case. Uh, yeah, take out the unit so it's not in your way, and you can free up uh, a little bit more space. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna have to figure out how to take those out because they're not coming out just by pushing. Taking those two keys out, you see they have those latches here they, they have those channels which locks in here it is a big problem when the keys are not very good like those Chinese one uh, it takes uh, a lot of wiggling and you need to push a lot harder right here on those two parts of it uh, yeah and anyway I hope you don't have to deal with it because that's a pain in the butt Okay, so the white connector goes on the back of the radio. Let's see, radio, radio, radio. Yep, where the gray port is. So it goes like this. And it clicks. See. So the the white one goes to the back of the radio where the gray port is. The, this one will go. To the gray port here. Sorry, can't see it. This one will go like that. What you need to have is again, I'm gonna show it here the white connector or LVDS in goes 
to the back of the MMI, of the MMI with where the, the the gray port. Okay, next is we're gonna connect the the big cable. So it clicks. There is a, a locking mechanism down there. So once you once you push it a little bit further, it will click. This one will go here. So if you want to use your own, uh, I have a Bluetooth which actually works very well. And I've heard there are issues with uh, this one giving an echo. You have to plug the mic here. So we have to remove the glow box. Uh, there are three screws up here, one here, and two, two down there. And once you remove, like I said, the three screws here, let's close it. And the glove box is down. There is a connector up here that you can see in the menu. I'm gonna take a picture of it, and uh, so you can, so you can see it. So we're gonna run this one. This one needs to go through. There is a small hole in here. Yep, there's a small hole in here, and that needs to go. Those cables need to go through. The USB cable because I really don't want it to sit out there. If I have to, I will draw a small hole and still run it. Uh, one of the glove boxes up, but uh, I have my hole here now. Clean it up a little bit. Now I can run. The USB in there. successfully installed the USB cable through that hole over there which is uh, very nice to be in the glove box okay, it's nice that they've supplied a velcro one will go on the bottom of uh, of the unit I'll put it on the bottom and the other one will go down there so it uh, sticks and doesn't rattle when I drive the car yeah before you put the hands if the velcro on the bottom it's good to take a picture of this just in case you need it there you go all this needs to be tight though I don't want any rattling any any noises in the car to wrap those things around I'm gonna, you can use zip ties actually I found zip ties you can zip tie it but because I want no chance of noise from knocking I'm going to use a duct tape okay I guess uh, it's time to put the thing together I haven't started the car for a day so let's see how fast it goes uh, in connecting you see it's it's there you can control the MMI with uh, those two buttons uh, that's volume up and down the speed button will work uh, with Siri directly hey Siri tell me a joke a couple of years ago two snails went for a stroll in the park they're having a great time <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> so uh, or you can use this one here the the knob you can uh, use that one too to control uh, the whole thing. Um, I'll show you some functionality of the apps. You can go through all those. Uh, I'm going to use a steering wheel. Uh, so you can go 3D. Uh, you can. Well, that will be interesting how that will work. Yeah, yeah, that, that panning is going to be a pain in the butt. But you see, with the steering wheel, you can 
go to all the buttons on the screen. Uh, you have a back button down on the console where the big knob is. You can go back. Um, I have ways here, of course. Uh, it all works uh, pretty good. Uh, you can go to Spotify and just go to anything that I've been listening lately. Shuffle play. Stand on the bar, stomp your feet, stop yeah. clapping, got a real good feeling, something bad about to happen. Stand on the bar, stomp your feet, stop clapping, got a real... Okay, enough music. I uh, can go back and out. Settings. If you keep pressing the back button, eventually it switches. You see, I'm pressing the back button on the console. It will switch between the first page and uh, um, the multi-tile screen, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I want to go to, uh, this is the, the app, actually that's going to get you to the menu. You have music, you have CarPlay, you have Android, mirroring. I'm probably never going to use any of those but the car video and settings. Now in settings, um, I'll recommend to boost a little bit uh, the volume. Uh, in car settings, there are a couple of important things. If you don't have a uh, backup camera, deactivate those. Uh, reversing mode, I left it to can active. Those need to stay off. Now, I'm using the built in microphone, the OEM microphone, so you have to keep it at OEM microphone. If you have an aftermarket or you want to use the one that comes with. Uh, uh, the unit you can switch it to the aftermarket one this one needs to be on in order for the speech button on the steering wheel to work and that's it See, there is nothing else to do here you have display I haven't touched any of those uh, sound everything is flat language yeah and the system the system tells you yep it's the latest one 2023-0513 uh, let's get out uh -huh. And just choose CarPlay and you're in. It, it works pretty well, uh, very good indeed. Uh, no issues with phoning, with uh, you know, you can go through all those tiles or you can jump to this section. Very good unit, unit uh, thumbs up uh, for the guys that made it. Um, very supportive through the installation. During the installation, when I was putting everything in, apparently the microphone, either some dirt went into the port or um, it got a little bit wiggled and disconnected and it didn't work. So I got an error message in the car uh, when I checked for errors. Um, I got a microphone front left not working. So that will tell you that the connection with the microphone is, is not okay and you have to open it again and you know just take it out plug it in it should work well uh, one other thing to, to to keep in mind when you go to media you have to be in source external audio input mine I don't have to plug anything into the AMI port actually I have another thing in my AMI port uh, that's not related to this installation but this unit actually simulates external audio input and that's where it needs to go and when you hold the menu button down the console you will jump back in and that's it i hope you liked the video thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time